We have the founder and CEO of Medibooker, Sunny Nadolsky. Well, good evening. Thank you so much for making it to here. And um, so, yeah, so as um, you mentioned, so my name is Sunny Nadoski. I'm founder and CEO of Medibooker. Medibooker is uh, an online marketplace for medical imaging, like uh, MRI, CT scans. So the problem we're trying to solve for the patient side um, Think this way, if you or someone you know trying to do an MRI, you might have noticed there's a big price variance from a few hundred dollars on one side of the street to several thousand dollars. What's more, there's really no easy way to capture the availability, quality, location, other than calling them one-on-one, -on -one, kind of like the hotel industry 15 years ago which wastes a lot of time on the patient side. As our health insurance move toward a high deductible, high copay, patients have to shop, price shop around to find what's available, what's affordable to them. For the imaging centers, they also struggle with rising cost due to the value-based pay, bundled payment, which is going on in the healthcare industry, um, and also facing savvy shoppers. And you wonder how big the problem is. Last year, Americans spent $100 billion on medical imaging alone. So we focus on the most painful area, which is the outpatient imaging center, 19%, which is about $19 billion. And of course, the patients, as I mentioned before, uh, earlier, those are high deductible, high copaid healthcare insurance plans or, and the uninsured. So to solve this problem, we build Medibooker, where patients can quickly find the transparent information and compare quotes on availability, location, rating, um, and um, price, of course, that's the most important one, and then quickly book the appointment with the desired one. Imaging centers can quickly list their profiles, price for the services, offer quotes, book with qualified patients, and also improve their, uh, their operations with analytics we provide to them. And um, so as a result, they are able to reduce the cost, improve their operation on Medibooker. So our business model, we are free to, for patients. We charge the imaging centers a lead fee of 10%, about $42, because the average procedure is about $420. We also charge them a monthly fee if they wish to receive data analytics to shed light on their operations. In due time, we can also generate revenue from advertising. We are currently launching in DFW with 12 paying centers on board. Thank you. Um, and the patient um, really love uh, the solution. And uh, we onboard imaging centers uh, from, of course, phone calls, emails, face-to-face -face meetings. We build a comprehensive database of all outpatient imaging centers, about 314 of them. We onboard patients with SUSMO um, physicians, make them know about our solution, and uh, payers, self-funded self employers, because we help both employees and employers save money. Um, we also have partnerships with Southwest Airlines. We recently won their um, competition price to fly to cities where we want to expand. We are a full stack team um, from healthcare and digital technology. I myself came from marketplace digital technology and uh, most of us built successful ventures before. Our plan is to build traction in DFW in the coming few months and expand to Houston in December and a few other cities nearby and to other cities 
In due time, we can also expand to other verticals. Our mission is to help improve healthcare efficiency and quality by introducing transparency. So if you like what we're doing, come find me afterwards. Thank you. Beat her to the punch. I, I want to applaud the sheer genius of this plan, Sonny, because um, I was just on Obamacare last night for a family member, and I saw that the premiums were well over 1000 a month and going up substantially next year, and the uh, deductibles are just off the charts, like, like incredible, like $15,000 deductible, which tells me that anything proactive you do to be proactive on your health you'll pay 100% out of pocket for. And anything reactive like cancer where you pay a million dollars for a cancer drug to extend your life by a week or two uh, will be covered. So uh, with that in mind, how do you go to market with this? Is this an enterprise sale? Because it doesn't seem like the um, MRI center would be your fan because you're gonna reduce their price over time. Thank you, David, for that question. Um, very good question. So. Um, we really, I, I see we're like uh, on two legs with our approach to market. Um, on one side is B2C. We wanted to present this to the consumers, the patients. We're fighting a fight. Patients cannot win on their own. Ideally, that would be great, but it takes time as you know, take a lot of money. So the other avenue is B2B, that we approach self-funded employers, like Southwest Airlines, we're in discussion with them, 52,000 employees. Our solution help those self-funded employers to save money um, and help employees save money. So through that, both models, we can grow faster, rather than just charging the imaging centers. I didn't present that earlier because we're still in discussions right now, but that's definitely the, the direction we have to go. I think I'm asking the same question, um, but I'm gonna ask it a little bit differently, so hopefully I get a slightly different answer. I'm seeing your business, like a hotels.com for medical imaging centers. So from that standpoint, a hotel would want to get on to Hotels.com so that they can advertise their location and show the differences between that location versus another. Is the medical imaging location, do they have that same functionality and why they're better than another? Is that now going to be a new competitive advantage other than price and price exclusively? Um, thank you for that question. Um, most of the shoppers so far, based on our analysis, are for sh price shopping, about 75% so far. However, you always have that 10, 15% shopping for quality, either because they have a good plan or they have something, they have to find that wonderful 3D machine to do it. So our platform accommodates both. On one side, imaging centers can offer dynamic pricing if they are very booked up, they can up their price. If they are very empty, they can lower their price. The whole goal is to help them optimize their profit margin by utilizing their expensive facility. So on the other side, on the quality side, so the, the imaging centers of higher quality, um, you know, like THR, Baylor, they can list their accreditation equipment, the brands of the equipment, age of the equipment, their radiologists. So they can come to play as well if they want to. Yes, Sunil. So I don't have a question. I just have a comment in support of uh, Sunny for David. Uh, and of course, there's a conflict of interest. She's on my team at Health Wildcatters. But uh, as deductibles are higher and higher in this market, uh, if Sunny's product can get the cash price of the entire imaging study below the deductible, it becomes very, very, very attractive for somebody. Because one, uh, the center doesn't have to go through the rigmarole of getting the payment, because that's, that's an offensive process. And then the patient says, sees a direct, oh, my deductible is $800, and Sunny offers it to me for 500 bucks. It's a no-brainer. So 
So I really support uh, what she just said. Thank you, Sunit. Good question. So right now we have 12 centers, about one third of them are doing it. They're still learning how to do it. Uh, we anticipate more as we go. Thank you. That was good. <laughs>